Welcome back. This segment is sponsored by Michigan State Federal Credit Union. Joining us this morning from the Humane Society of West Michigan, Events Coordinator Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Good morning. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, Absolutely. I was assuming there would be three pets and Malcolm would be in the middle. Uh, uh, see what I did there? Uh, Wait until you see Malcolm. Have you seen Malcolm yet, Todd? No, I haven't. Show me okay. Malcolm. Where's Look Malcolm? at that. Oh, oh he's adorable. He has a mustache. Malcolm has a mustache. Mm -hmm. He's How is Malcolm still at your shelter? As soon as I saw this face, I was like, I want that cat. What's up with Malcolm? Malcolm is not at the shelter. He actually is in a foster home oh, right good, now. Good. But he is one of our longest term animals. He has been with us for over 200 days oh. um, and really just needs to find the perfect home for that little mustache. <laughs> I mean, that's an Instagram worthy face right there, don't you think? He that could have his own Instagram. Is, that cat yeah. could be a celebrity. So, so what's up? Does he have a, some health issues maybe? Um, yeah, so uh, Malcolm is um, FELV positive, which is uh, feline leukemia virus, um, but that does not really affect his personality. He is still very healthy. The only stipulation is that he can't go home with other uh, FELV negative cats. Okay. So um, if somebody has a cat that already has that, he can go home with them. Or if they have... Um, other furry friends like dogs or rabbits or things like that he could go home with them and have no issue okay. um he is a super social boy who loves being around other animals he currently is in a foster home where he has a dog brother that he is just obsessed with and loves <laughs> snuggling with so cute. um and so uh we're really hoping to find malcolm a home um he's been with us for way too long and really just needs to find that place that he can settle in forever. I mean, look, he has like his hair parted in the middle. He's got mm -hmm. this sir mustache. Mm -hmm. I just think he's the best. <laughs> I love, please give Malcolm a home. And when you get a home next week, make sure you tell us that he got one, okay? And don't forget about- uh, Absolutely. Speaking about just, not just Malcolm, but we want to empty the shelter, right? That's right. So right now um, we are partnering with Missile Pet Foundation for their Empty the Shelters event. Um, all, adopt, uh, all adoptable adult dogs and cats are just $25 um, through Saturday. Um, all of our small animals are only $5 and then senior pets are fee waived. And so we're hoping that this is a really great opportunity um, to get some animals into their forever homes um, and help out the people adopting to give them a little bit of a lesser price thanks to Bissell Pet Foundation. Absolutely. And uh, thanks so much to the community who came out for Bark in the Dark, another successful event. Yeah, absolutely. I know, Leanne, you were there. I hope you enjoyed as well. There's Reggie who won our <laughs> costume contest. Um, we are so grateful for our community coming out. Humane Society of West Michigan is a 100% donor funded um, nonprofit. And so we depend on um, our local community to help make our, our mission a success. And so without that, um, we wouldn't have been able to do it. We had over 500 people participate and um, we were able to raise over $75,000 animals That's in our amazing. care for the coming year. Hey, so, really quickly though, Howl and Boo, a Howl and Boo, tell us. Yeah, so Howl and Boo 